You already know the male body has its quirks. You've probably even learned some weird facts about it from the infographic show. And now you're back for more. So we did a little more digging and found even weirder facts about the male body. We're about to take things to a whole new level. Obviously some of the weirdest facts about the male anatomy have to do with the penis, but we're going to steer clear of that area of the body for a little bit. If that's what you were looking forward to, no worries, it'll come later. Let's look at some really weird facts that have to do with the rest of the male body. We're going to start with the eyes. Males are better at tracking moving objects at a distance than females, but did you know that males are not as good at seeing shades of colors as women are? And the reason why is pretty crazy. Men's eyes evolve to be able to hunt animals and make quick decisions in high-stakes situations. This means their ability to track at both a distance and short range needed to be as good as possible. However, seeing different shades of those colors was not quite as important. It didn't matter what the animal's color was, just that a male hunter could track and kill it. Females, on the other hand, had a very different set of skills they needed to be proficient at in early human history. One of these tasks was locating and gathering plants and berries. Yes, there were most likely some women who also hunted, and yes, there were most likely men who also foraged for food. But from what we can see in the archaeological record, it seems hunting of big prey was normally done by males, and gathering of plants was normally done by females. So it was much more important for females to be able to differentiate between various shades of the same color, especially when identifying an edible berry bush or one that was poisonous and would kill you. The slight difference in shades of color between the leaves and the berries could literally mean life or death. Therefore, females evolved to have more sensitive eyes when it came to seeing colors. The biological reason why males cannot see as many shades of color as females most likely has to do with the number and arrangement of cones in the eyes of men. Cones are the receptors that capture light waves and send signals to the brain so you can see in color. There also might be parts of the brain that developed differently between men and women that contribute to this. In particular, men have trouble discerning shades of blue, yellow, and green. It's interesting to note that these are mostly colors found in plants and rarely found on animals that humans hunted earlier in history. In fact, mammals, which include woolly mammoths, deer, and saber-toothed tigers, cannot produce green pigment and therefore, these animals that human males hunted would never have been green. The eyes of males tend to react more to slightly longer wavelengths of light than females. Orange may appear more red to men than it does to women, and green can seem a bit more yellow to males. It's crazy to think that the male and female eye could actually see things differently, and that's just one interesting difference between the two sexes. And sticking with the male face, there's another weird thing about it. When we think of men like Nick Offerman who plays Ron Swanson on Parks and Rec, or Tom Selleck in his glorious mustache, it's easy to forget that facial hair is a pretty unique feature. It is rare that females have facial hair, and even those who do tend to get rid of it. But not men, instead they embrace facial hair. And the crazy part is that there are around 15,000 hair follicles on the male face alone. That's not even counting the ones on top of a man's head. Even the most baby-faced men still have no less than 7,000 hair follicles on their face, according to Gillette razors. And those follicles mean that the razor industry generated around $18 billion in 2019. As we go down the male body, we're going to quickly skip over that oh-so-fascinating area just below the waistline and continue to the male's feet. We know feet probably aren't as exciting as the penis for most of you, but others it can be a real fetish. Jokes aside, men tend to have bigger feet than females. Even men and women who are the same height have different sized feet. Male feet are on average longer and wider than female feet. Men also have lower arches and longer ankles. This allows them to be slightly more stable at the base of their body. The larger feet allow for more surface area to be in contact with the ground, which in turn provides more stability. Now, I know you're wondering if foot size has any correlation to penis size, and the answer is absolutely not. A study was conducted by two urologists, that is a medical profession that specializes in the urinary system, which measured the feet and penis length of 104 men. They found there was no correlation between shoe size and penis size. For some of you, this is good news. For others, it might be a little disappointing. Our next stop on this tour of the male body is the gums. It's here that we may find a surprising connection between gum disease and the genitalia of men. In both males and females, the American Academy of Periodontology has found that the inflammation from gum disease might be linked to heart disease, diabetes, and even rheumatoid arthritis. It's important to distinguish between correlation and causation, but there does seem to be some kind of connection between gum health and the health of the rest of the body. In males, things go a step further. There have been studies that have connected chronic gum disease to erectile dysfunction in males. So for males, it's extra important to maintain healthy gums, especially if you want your penis to work properly. In a national study in Taiwan, it was found that men with periodontitis, which is a severe gum infection, were more likely to have erectile dysfunction. 
Again, more studies and research needs to be done, but just to be on the safe side, males should definitely start taking better care of their gums and teeth. Another weird fact about the male body is its susceptibility to hernias. We're now getting really close to the penis. We aren't quite there yet, but after this crazy fact you might not even care anymore. Hernias often occur when an internal organ, such as part of the intestines or stomach, pushes through a weak spot in the abdominal muscles of the body. Males tend to be more susceptible to one type of hernia called the inguinal hernia than women are. Why is this, you might ask? It's because males have more weak spots near their inguinal ring, which is where the nerves and arteries connect to the testes. These weak spots unfortunately allow the intestines and fats in the area to slip through from time to time, creating a hernia. Women also have an inguinal ring, but the weak spots are not as large as the males. Therefore, men tend to be more susceptible to hernias. We finally got to the moment you've been waiting for. It's about to get real weird and crazy in this video, so get ready. First, the good news. If you have a penis, it's about twice as long as you think it is. That's probably really exciting for many of you. Now let's be clear, about half the muscles that make up the penis are inside the body. This is because the sex organ needs to be connected to the rest of your body systems so it can, you know, work. If you were to dissect a human male and take out the entire reproductive system, you would see that about half of the penis is within the body, and when measuring it, the male's entire penis is twice as long as what can be seen just on the outside. Now the bad news. There's a disease that can actually curve a man's penis into the shape of a boomerang. The disease is called Pyrenees disease, and it happens when scar tissue develops on the penis. It causes it to curve, and as a result, erections can be incredibly painful. Some males that have Pyrenees disease only have a slight curve, which means getting an erection is bearable, but as the penis becomes more and more bent, things can get bad. So bad, in fact, that Pyrenees disease can curve the penis to an angle where the male can no longer have sex. And if that wasn't unpleasant enough, the disease can also cause the penis to shorten in length. It's a really terrible illness for the males of the human species. Most of the time, men need to have their penis operated on in order to reverse the condition. The sooner treatment begins, the better in this case. Now let's get real weird. Take a guess when a male can achieve his first erection. And now buckle in, because what we're about to tell you will blow your mind. A male can get his first erection before he is even born. That's right, human males have been recorded to have an erection while still developing in their mother's uterus. It seems to occur when the fetus is experiencing REM sleep. It's also totally not uncommon for the baby to be born with an erection. Imagine being the proud parent of a baby boy and as he's born he has a full-on erection. That would make for an embarrassing first picture when welcoming your baby to the world. No one is entirely sure why a developing fetus or a newborn needs to have an erection, but it may just be the body's way of testing out the equipment to make sure everything's in working order. And if male babies having erections didn't weird you out, this next fact definitely will. We know that males can get an erection as a fetus, baby, and when they're fully grown, but what about when a man dies? Well, you probably guess now where this is going. The death erection, also known as angel's lust, happens after a man passes away. This may just be an involuntary response in some males, but it gets weirder. Death erections have been recorded in the past as most commonly occurring to men who were killed by hanging. Now, we know the guys are into some pretty kinky stuff, and perhaps choking is a turn on for some, but scientists think a death erection by hanging probably has more to do with the noose pressing on the cerebellum at the back of the head than being into BDSM. However, death erections have also been recorded in men who have been killed by gunshot and poisoning, so it may be that human males are just horny, even in death. Our final weird fact about the male body may tickle you a little, literally. There's a part of the genitalia in males, called the cremaster muscles. These muscles are wrapped around the male's testicles. They're fairly sensitive and have a reflexive reaction similar to when a doctor hits the area just below your kneecap. Normally, these muscles are used to pull the testes closer to the body when things get cold. However, there's another way to get these muscles to react. If the side of a man's upper thigh is stroked in just the right way, the cremaster muscles engage and contract on the same side that's being stroked. This can cause the male's body to unintentionally pull the testes up toward the abdomen until the muscles relax once again. So if you want to see a male body do something pretty weird, try experimenting with the upper part of their thigh. The male anatomy is full of wonders, from large feet to eyes that don't see certain shades of color. A man's body is quite the enigma. Just remember, there is more to men than just their weird genitalia. Now watch weird facts about the female body, or check out what is persistent genital arousal disorder. Sex disorder explained. 